Marshmallows. Marshmallows. This is my friend Ryan. How's it going? Ryan uh, grew up on the same street as Mrs. Brown. Mm -hmm. And we were chatting the other day, and he asked me if we could put marshmallows in resin. And I got that question first in 2015. Oh wow. And I have completely ignored everybody who's asked. And you were just waiting for Stay Puft Marshmallows to get released, right? Right, because we're super excited about Ghostbusters Afterlife. Couldn't be more excited. Which may or may not actually be releasing and the date they said it's going to be released. Oh, let's hope it does. Because every time I look, the, like, the date keeps moving <laughs> forward yeah. and forward. I saw Ghostbusters when it came out. Okay. And I saw Ghostbusters 2 once as a child. Okay. And I saw the new Ghostbusters in 2016. Okay. That I'm not supposed to say <laughs> that I loved it, oh! but I loved it and laughed my butt off. Alright, we're done. My introduction into Ghostbusters was the cartoon. Wasn't there a cartoon in the 80s that had nothing to do with Ghostbusters? It had to do with Filmation owned the rights to the name Ghostbusters. Yeah. And there was some finagling that went on so the studio could use Ghostbusters for the movie, right. the title. And Columbia at the time was like, well, if you're not going to give us the name Ghostbusters, we're yeah. just going to call ourselves the real Ghostbusters <laughs> because you guys are the fake Ghostbusters. <laughs> One night my mom says, you know there's a movie. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, but it's real people. It's not a cartoon. And my mind was just blown. With real people? We need to rent this. <laughs> but I loved it instantly. And then, you know, it was probably a year or two later, Ghostbusters 2 came out. Yeah. And that was my first, like, opening night movie that we went to. And I was just... It's my favorite. Okay. But I think it's that nostalgia-driven memory that makes Ghostbusters 2 my favorite. Oh, okay. So, but this is obviously a promotion for the movie. Correct. So Correct. they're Stay Puft Marshmallows, mm -hmm. and you kind of want to keep them, right? I would. I, you know, I look at these and I'm like, gosh, because I, there were some marshmallows that came yeah. out during the, for the reboot, you know, a few years ago, and I hung on to them and they got sticky in the bag and I think stuff. that's the problem, and is that... They're made of yeah, sugar, so they're gonna right. be great over time, right? And that was why I came to you. Let's give it a hey. shot. All right, sounds good. Let's let's see if we can keep Mr. Stay Puff around. So my first thought was I should stabilize them okay. in resin. So that's cactus juice, which is the stabilizing resin. Okay. And basically, you pour it in a huge volume. This stuff can be used over and over and over again. Okay. And then I was like. I went out and got some inferior jet puff marshmallows <laughs> for the test. And you might notice something right off the bat here that's going to make things difficult. They're floating. They're floating. Everything floats down here. <laughs> so I weighted them down, and we're going to basically take all the air out of the marshmallows. Okay. And when we take all the air out, what that does is all those places that had air now have a vacuum in it. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to fill all those air holes with resin. And so you can see all these bubbles are just the air bubbling out of the marshmallows. Uh -huh. So what do you think is going to happen to marshmallows when we take all the air out of them? They're going to shrink and shrivel up. I really wish you had been here a couple days ago. Okay. <laughs> because I don't think I was thinking through much of this process at all. Okay. So it took about two hours uh -huh. to suck all of the air out of the marshmallows. And, uh, and once that's all done, I release the vacuum. And I assume at that point that all of the resin is going to rush into all of those areas and fill these little things up again. What? Well, let's, let's see if we can get a better look at that. I'm impressed with your weight there. That's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Marshmallows. They're like little dough balls now. Oh, like wow. Aunt Edna's raviolis. Yeah. I yeah. would have assumed they would kind of just reform themselves. I did too. Oh. <laughs> so in order to kick off the resin, you have to put them in a toaster oven. Okay. And so I figured I'd go ahead and finish this process just to see what's going to happen. Mrs. Brown said they look like the gauze that come out of your mouth after oral surgery. <laughs> they do. They do. <laughs> so nasty. <laughs> but it's fine. It's going to work out perfectly. Okay. I'm fold this up, put it in the toaster oven, at 200 degrees for 45 minutes. I have no idea why I was wearing one glove.
marshmallows should be stabilized okay. and they are ready for inspection. All right. And you can tell me if this is what you want to do to your bag of marshmallows. All right. All right. Just open it up. Yep. Just open so, it up. Since we're already talking about Ghostbusters, yeah, yeah. I got to make a comment about what looks to be mood slime <laughs> on the oven here. So I'm not going to get angry. There's no, nothing bad is going to happen. Gonna start dancing nothing bad is going to happen. All right. I mean, nothing more bad than what usually happens in my workshop. Wow. Yeah, this is exactly what I had in mind, man. Turn it this way. So funny thing about marshmallows. <laughs> um, they're sugar. Yeah. Wow. So that's the resin part. Okay. And it totally hardened. Yeah. Like it was supposed to. Like it was supposed to. But yeah. Huh. You can't stabilize marshmallows uh, this bag when they first came out and yep. the expiration dates january 19th okay 22 and then i bought these like two weeks ago and it's march 23rd 2022 so okay so do you want to do the original one then? sure let's do that and do you think we're definitely going to be extending the uh, expiration date no matter what okay all right there perfect we go. okay cool i'll take those back okay for mrs brown notices <laughs> have been bags of the original marshmallows used in Ghostbusters 1 pop up online, but that's sort of what gave me the idea for this. Like, could you have preserved those movie props? When you talk about the resin yellowing, yeah. those marshmallows were kind of yellowed and shriveled. Yeah. You can't okay. change the way the resin works. Sure, sure. It's going to yellow over time. But with a, a slogan like this, stays puff even when toasted, uh -huh. as they yellow a little bit, it might just play off. Okay. All right, so this resin that I'm using, uh, I've never used it before. It's called Counterculture DIY Resin, and it's an artist resin. So it's got a really long So when you look at this cup open. here, mm -hmm. you'll see all the different ratios. Sure. And what we want is equal parts one to one. Okay. So you'll fill up part A to one of these, oh, wow. and then you'll fill up part B to the other one on the other side. For example, if we went to one here, when we do the next one, we'd want to go one. Oh, there, okay. Does that make sense? Total sense. So it's really viscous. We're getting closer. Yeah, go ahead and stop. Okay. I bet we're pretty close. Because it takes a while. Well, it's, it's like a corn syrup. A yeah. Bit. All right. Now this should pour a lot easier. Oh yeah, okay. I think we're there. Perfect. The resin I used was to patch some little pinholes in the car I'm working on. Oh my gosh, we didn't tell anybody what the car you're working on. Oh, we should, huh? What are you working on? Building my own ectomobile out of a 1959 Ford ranch wagon, which is obviously not the screen accurate car. Okay. Screen accurate would be a 1959 Cadillac Ambulance Miller Meteor. Okay, but it Which, looks really close. It's the closest Ford ever came. No, you got to be hardcore <laughs> nerd to notice that that's not the. But anybody I've yeah. showed it to or showed pictures to were like, "Oh my gosh, that looks." I saw it up close. So it uh, it had some rust holes in the floor that were pinholes that weren't worth you know patching like cutting out and patching a welding in a patch. So I used some fiberglass resin. It was easy to work with for the first 10 minutes. Yeah. And then it started to solidify and smoke. And and it smells so bad. Are you going down the sides? I'm going to go down the side just a tiny bit just to keep it from dripping. That's awesome. Back when I first hit 100,000, started doing dip-its. And I asked people what I should dip. Uh -huh. I made a list. And let's see. I've actually done a lot of these right here, right down near the bottom. Is this how you imagined your Saturday? No, it's better than I imagined. <laughs> Lie to me. No, I'm... It should be okay. Because once these are all dry on this side, once the resin's cured and it's uh, not tacky anymore, they can all be flipped end for end, and then the okay. other side can be painted the same. So, we're waiting for resin to dry. Yep. I'm going to give you a quiz. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ryan is a pop... Culture Prince of mm. Ghostbusters. Here in my hand, several <laughs> trivia awesome. cards. I love it. I from love it. the original okay. Ghostbusters. Which of the Ghostbusters was slimed? Oh, Peter Venkman, played by Bill Murray. What was the number plate on the Ghostbusters car? Ecto-1. Number three, how many mortgages does Ray have on his house three. to cover Ghostbusters three. expenses? <laughs> Everyone has three the mortgages, average, Ray. Yeah, but at 95%, you didn't even bargain with This is a long question. All right. 
When Gozer asks Ray if he is a god and almost kills them when he admits he is not, the scripts call for Winston to say, you should have said yes, she might have been willing to negotiate. What line does Winston live, deliver instead? When someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes! That's interesting though, I had never heard that that was That was the actually original. in the script. Okay. Isn't yeah, that cool? That, that was, yeah. Yeah, they wow. improvised it. When Janine and Egon are discussing interest, what does Egon say is his hobby? Oh man, what does he, spores, molds, and fungus. Oh my gosh. You got all five. <laughs> Do you know who was storyboarded as Gozer and who was, I would say, like the original, like, Pee Wee Herman. Are you serious? Pee Wee Herman, Paul Rubens was the oh original. Oh my gosh, would he have done it with that high-pitched voice? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know if he would have appeared as Pee Wee Herman, yeah. or if it, but that was the, like, in the in the storyboards. I it, feel like they Paul made Rubens. the right decision. No, I, I do, but I also am like... You wish you could live in that alternative like universe? i see it, you know? So Ryan is watching football today, which I've heard is something people do. I'm gonna go ahead and get the next layer on here. So are there any marshmallow songs we can sing? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Lately, I've been, I've been thinking, I want you to be happier. I want you to be happier. Ryan counted and he said he found 42 marshmallows, which is perfect. No stopping it now. I gotta paint 42 marshmallows. I wanna change my mind, cause this just don't feel right to me. They feel weird. Whoa. Isn't that strange? They're pliable. But they're like they're not weird, pliable, but, but kind of leathery. Yeah. What I imagine so. Mr. Stay Puff's face feels like. Yeah, right? Well, I gotta make an amendment to this, the trivia questions if you don't mind. You said, said you 95%, said 19%. The interest rate for the first five years comes to $95,000. That really troubled you, right? It that did. Like, did that keep it you really up at night? Did. Didn't want to have to turn in my nerd card. Oh, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. <laughs> up here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I really like the way they sound. I do too. That's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's just not right. Are we missing an edge of the bag a little Well, I mean a tiny or? bit, yeah. You can't push them down yeah. like you did before. They're much more rigid. Um, I, should we leave some out then? Choices had to be made. There's no Choices. way you have to make these decisions. They're hard decisions. They are, man. They really are. So minus eight marshmallows. Um, I think this is good right here. I think we can right. try to reseal. I found this weird little thing on Facebook. Bag resealer with um, a razor blade. You push these two halves together and they heat up. You know, it's not quite. Okay, ready? Yep. Here we go. Did nice. We, did we do it? Yeah, we did it. We did it. It's a good, perfect seal. These are the real ones. The, wait, are these they? These are the resin. Those are the resin ones? I, those are the resin ones. These might. I, I don't know. Now. It's hard to tell, isn't it? It is. Yeah, they look really good. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I love it. So those are the actual. These are the actual ones. And these are the resin ones that we made. Or should we taste them? To... <laughs> that was really fun. And, and the fun part is this went from just a, a fleeting like, yeah. hey man, what do you think of this idea? To we should we totally actually do it. did it, man. Yeah, we yeah. should totally do it. That's awesome. And then you've got like uh, eight. One's outside here that you can sort of yeah. see what they look like. You Would know? you like to keep some of those for um, the collection? Here's. Go ahead and put that on the back there by Vin Diesel. There we go. Vin nice. Diesel's going to guard the marshmallow. Stay Puft marshmallow. That's perfect. <laughs> You're working I on am. your car. Yep, that's project numero uno. You want to be able to drive to Afterlife. I do. I would love it pristine, yeah. realistic, but challenging. Just get the car running and drivable. So if you guys want to see that journey, channel is called? Cousin Ryan. It's called Cousin Ryan. So we're going to put a link up at the end. Fun. It's very enjoyable. It. Yeah. And I love your shirt. Thank you. This was, uh, I got this at ToyCon in Santa Rosa, I don't know, four or five years ago, whenever the last ToyCon was. Was that the one Nichelle Nichols was at? Ahura. The actress who played Ahura. <laughs> From Star Trek. Oh, 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 that one. <laughs> Oh, all right. Yeah, she was there. This is a channel my son and I started a few years ago doing some music video reactions and it's turned into toy unboxings and movie reviews and snack reviews. Or I should say our channel is very yeah. focused on what was a part of my childhood. I think it's really fun. What I tried to pass on yeah. to Ryder. Yeah. So go check Ryan out. 
head on over to his channel. Yeah, come hang out with us, and it's just it's just to have a good nerdy nostalgic time. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. I just this is awesome. We'll catch it. you guys next time. Yep, take it easy.